I posed a question in pre-show. And the question that I posed, which got a lot of positive answers, are the Golden State Warriors for real? You damn betcha they are. Nine and two coming out the gate. The only losses were to the Clippers, and we'll see them and beat their ass Monday. Mm -hmm. And to the undefeated, and I can't believe I'm going to utter this sentence, the undefeated Cleveland Cavaliers. Who'd they beat? Well, they beat us. But aside of that, I don't know who the hell they beat. They had a lot. They've the Cleveland Cavaliers have had a lot of comeback wins, but I'm still showing them no grace. Right. Here's why I want to focus on the Golden State Warriors. Okay. They lost Clay Thompson to free agency. Mm-hmm. They signed yep. Buddy Heald in free agency. And no one expected to do Let me change that sentence. I was told by so many people that the Warriors wouldn't do a thing. I was told by so many people that the Warriors would be playing for the draft. Well, um, we went into Boston and beat them. We went into Oklahoma City and beat them. You know what I was told? What were you told, sir? I was told that the Warriors, as of right now, well, before the season started, because the loss of Clay Thompson would only see one trophy, and that being the NBA Cup. What? That's what I was told. You know what's funny? You know what would be absolutely hilarious? What's that? <laughs> if they won the NBA Cup and the finals? Yes. See, I, I, I don't want them to win. I don't want them to have the NBA Cup. I don't want. No, I don't. I don't want them to win the NBA Cup either. But it would be absolutely hilarious. It would. It would. It would be hilarious that the trophy that was created for LeBron James mm-hmm. was gathered in by Steph Curry, coupled with the Larry O'Brien trophy, with the big one. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't want that because I just, I think that I just the think party. the only trophy they, the Warriors, should compete for, yep, is the one in June. Was the one in June? This is a false trophy, and yes, I'm having coffee today. This is a false trophy. It's a falsehood, and they should get rid of this frivolity called the NBA Cup. This frivolity. No, that's the NBA. And, and, and the thing is, the crazy thing is, is that people Detective, are Detective, what do you want? The people are trying to put so much prestige on it. Mm-hmm. They're trying. There's, not, there's nothing prestigious about the NBA Cup. There's nothing Cup. prestigious about the NBA Cup. Nothing and ing. It's not it's like the Commissioner's Cup. It's not like that. You know, it's not Listen, something that actually Cup, I can actually right. see competing there's, for. There's prestige behind it. There's a yeah. lineage behind the Commissioner's Cup. There's nothing mm-hmm. behind the NBA the, Cup. The NBA Cup is more rigged than boxing back in the 30s when the Mafia had their hand in it. Don don't look at hey, me that like the that. truth. Uh, look, did Don just tap you and say that? Yes. Okay. And the... The detective is tr- is banging on my door. Why are you banging on my door? I don't know why he's banging on your door. And why he's is banging on your door in a minute? And why in the world is the commissioner glaring at me through his sunglasses with a flask of moonshine? If you ain't going to share it, then leave. All right, fine. Thank you. Here we go. <laughs> Welcome to Friday, ladies and gentlemen. But here's the thing. You know, the other thing is Shorzy gave me a game to call on the 22nd. Oh. Shorzy, what are you doing? <laughs> well, hopefully he's not he's not slashing someone in the face with a stick. Or checking somebody into the boards like he wanted to do yesterday. All Listen, day. That was just Ben Simmons. All right. Leave Shorzy. No, no, dude. He wanted he wanted to go after Bronny James. He, he wanted, wanted to go after Sharman Harden. He wanted to go after Sharman Harden. He wanted Embiid. But mm-hmm. to be honest, are we, I'd, like to, take, I'd like to check him into the boards. Quit. 
But here's the thing. <laughs> would, it, would we be really upset if he did that? No. No, but just shows that Shores is one violent mother right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No wonder he gets so many penalty minutes. Well, the game Shores he gave me with a blank eating grin on his face mm-hmm. occurs seven days from now. Okay. It's the Winnipeg Jets and the Stanley Cup champion Florida Panthers. Hmm. Ooh. Sounds like an interesting game. I like the sound of that one here. Yeah, he said, you should do this one. And he handed it to me. And he had a big old grin on his face. No, what he did was he handed it to Kamish who handed it to you. Kamish didn't want any part of it. That's why he walked by and said, Kamish walked by and said, I know you'll knock this one out and walked off. (laughs) Yeah. All right, before we but, slip back but, into our but, alter but, egos, we better this. This Stanley Cup champion, Florida Panthers? Those Stanley Cup champions. All I'm saying is that with the NBA Cup, the only way this thing could have ever gotten any prestige is if. Why are you shaking it? Hold on. Why are you shaking your head, Shane? Shut up, bitch. Oh, my God. Oh. 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 Carry so on. Now, here we go again. <laughs> Carry on, Vic. The only way that this would have got any prestige is if, like, the next three world champions also won the cup, and even then, it would still be known as just a a money grab. It's a cash grab for the owners who don't win anything. Their teams are not good enough to win to win the big one, so they're like, let's get a participation yeah, trophy Buss. in the form of the NBA Cup. Yeah, Genie Bus. I'm sorry, did I say something wrong? There are quite a few teams whose owners have been very lackluster, Mm -hmm. have not built their teams to win in June, and so they decided to take their win in November. (sighs) Man, don't don't get me started. Don't get me started. Yeah, this is what I get for talking to the detective when he Mm -hmm. had like his third cup of coffee. Third, third oh, at nine o'clock at night. He's a workaholic. He is a workaholic. Why does that sound so familiar? Only my. There's, there's so much I could say right now, but I'm going to oh, say oh, oh, only, only my window. brew of choice. Only my brew of choice is something my wife found for me. Mm. I'm trying to drink more tea than coffee. Right, I know that. Now, let me put this here. I got to change the studio around today. And I got to go back to the boom mic. My, I might do that during the break. But mm-hmm. why did she find me? Why did my beautiful wife find me mango, pineapple, green tea? Oh, my God. Bruh. Good so Lord. I had two of them last night. That's going to put you out. I had two of them last night and coupled it with my emergency, that uh, vitamin C power that I always have. Yep. And now I'm thinking of ways I'm going to use it besides being ill. Because now my voice is coming back. Mm. 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 Damn, damn, damn. Oh, the ideas that are rolling through my 